Hello there, folks. How are you? Uh, I'm standing here. It says Sherman Wright. We're reporting from the uh, the bandstand here in Palomina, where there are lots of people gathering, and uh, there's going to be a massive support around the town today uh, by the local people of the fraternity of people who will soon lose their jobs. I'm here at the Unite Union bus. I have a member of Unite Union. I have Claire. Obviously, Claire is a, uh, a well-known person, a very well-respected person in the circles of Palomina. She's extremely well-known for uh, the hard work that she does with her own charity. And obviously, uh, being connected with Unite the Union, Claire, you'll not be, you'll not be, uh, you'll, there won't be a smile on your face, Claire, today uh, with the, due to the local situation of the loss of uh, 1,800 jobs in the uh, highly skilled fraternity of a uh, uh, Gallagher's JTI and obviously Mitzlin. Claire, what effect do you feel this is going to have on the future of Palomina as far as the retail sector is concerned? Sherman, it's utterly devastating. You did say there that we have a huge skill set in Ballymena and we're about to lose it. Uh, it, it just it ripples out. It's a stone in a pond and it will ripple and ripple for years to come. We haven't lost those jobs yet. They're still a year and two years down the, ra the road. So it's actually going to get worse and worse and harder. But what's really, really important is the effect it's going to have on our youth and our youngsters. There's nothing for them and we're going to lose them. Well, Claire, you, you've reiterated the fact that this hasn't happened yet. So, uh, obviously, the word is out on the street there, Claire. Uh, and having said that, you know, the rat on the street or the dog on the street there actually knows that this problem is going to get worse. Claire, do you think people actually realise how hard this is going to actually hit the system? Uh, you're talking like education, you're talking like, uh, you know, like uh, lesser shops, uh, lesser investment, uh, lesser infrastructure. Sherman, it's going to decimate the town. It's going to decimate our schools. There's already, um, thankfully, Michelin are offering uh, reallocation to a lot of their employees and they can go to Aberdeen. But if they go to Aberdeen, they take their family with them. They take any wages with them. They take anything with them that they had of links to Ballymena. And it's just going to empty. It's going to be like a ghost town. So, Claire, obviously, you're mentioning there that people are going to be taking their wages with them. Obviously, you know, like the, the expenditure which has been uh, welcomed in Ballymena over the years, which made Ballymena quite a hub for uh, retail, uh, never mind industry. Uh, Claire, what do you see any quick fix, or do you, do you imagine that there can be a quick fix, or uh, is this going to be uh, unsustainable for a bleak future, as you're saying, for the ghost town that it's now turning into? Well, if we don't make a stand now and stand together, that it's going to be a bleak f future. What we need to do is get our politicians to start looking outward instead of indoors of what they're just doing at the minute. Ballymena is the town now. Next it'll be another town. It'll be Dungannon or it'll be Corain. If this was Belfast, that would never be allowed. The, the job loss in Ballymena is the equivalent of 20,000 jobs in Belfast. Now, try and rectify that. Our government have given a bus contract to Belgium a company in Belgium, when we have one of the top bus manufacturing companies here in Ballymena. Now, answer me that. How the hell can we compete? Claire, that's a very, very acute re uh, return there, and it's a very, very accurate assumption of what uh, you see and what people feel and what people are trying to gain the message by putting out today here at the Bandstand in Broadway. And uh, myself, I just, I, I, being a social policy student of Ulster University at this moment, or uh, hopefully of Ulster University within the next two or three years, I certainly have aspirations to uh, use uh, my knowledge and put it forward to people and perhaps express a little more of what the actual, uh, what the groundwork and what the, what the feedback is on the ground, because that is where it's going to take effect. Uh, I think in reality, Claire, is, is there is there a uh, is there what what's the word I'm looking for? Is there a uh, a standard of belief that our politicians within Stormont can they deal with this here on a short term, or is this quite obviously we've reiterated the fact that it's going to be a long term uh, regaining of the employment of the jobs, which uh, were highly skilled and highly motivated and highly well paid. Claire, personally, I can't see uh, highly paid jobs coming back to the uh, of the highly skilled nature that were and that was. Uh, in a, uh, and that soon will be uh, a part of the past uh, via JTA uh, Gallagher's and Mitchell. Do you foresee, Claire, anything like that there ever coming to Ballymena again within perhaps maybe the next five to ten years? It has to, Chairman, it has to. Our politicians need to get their head out of the sand. They need to look at the people that they're meant to be representing. Now, just bear in mind, JTA Gallagher's and Mitchell and patents, these things didn't happen overnight. It took maybe two, three years to get to this decision. And our politicians let it get that far because they're that busy squabbling with themselves, looking at historical things, and they're forgetting where we need the money. We have skills and we have talent, and this country is ready, and it's just fallen to its knees. Our NHS is the best in the world, and our hospitals in Northern Ireland are incredible. And the politicians need to look outside themselves. It's just a disgrace.
Yes, there's absolutely no doubt about that, Claire. Our national health system is something that the rest of the world uh, actually should be looking up to. And we do have that many complaints within our own society, Claire. And obviously, it's about uh, the situation that we have bred and been bred within uh, due to the historical situation of the exceptional circumstances that are, are within this country, you know. But, uh, Claire, I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much indeed for your time. And I wish you all the best for the rest of the day. And uh, this is Sherman Wright here reporting from the United uh, uh, Union bus at Broadway Bandstand.